Hey guys, it's Steve from SEO Link Robot. In this tutorial, I want to go through the best way to use the inline article tags to create network link structures using the Web 2.0 poster. As we can see, we've got a basic article. I've added some spin syntax and I'm targeting the keyword levitation magic tricks. As with all our articles, I've added a keyword in the title, so it's optimized. I've added a keyword in the first paragraph of the article as well, and twice more in the body, as you can see. I've also added a main URL. Obviously, these are test URLs. And I've added some URLs to our URL list. The first thing I will show is the type of link structure we can create if we use only a static URL, which I'll use the main URL. I'll highlight the levitation magic tricks, right click, insert URL, which inserts this URL that is shown in the list. As you can see, it's been inserted with the tags. And this will create a single link from the Web 2.0 site. I will show a diagram of the link this will create. As you can see, I've chosen five Web 2.0 sites to post to. And we have a static link from each site pointing to our main URL or our main money site. If we wanted to add a random link so we could additionally link randomly through our URL list, which is our main URL plus the URLs in our list that we've added within the Web 2.0 profile, we simply choose the keyword, right click, insert random link tag. And this random link tag is replaced by a rotation of these URLs in the list between each post. I'll show this within a diagram to explain this a bit better. As you can see, I've chosen three Web 2.0 sites and three of the URLs will be linked to. So what we have I'll, show, I'll, I'll delete these links and we show these. First, we've got our static link, which links to our main site as before. That's our static link. This one at the top. Now for our random link. The first site will always link to the main site and the random link because it's main site plus the URL list. The second random link will link to the first to the next site, which is the first site in the URL list. And the same with the second post. So it actually rotates through this list. So if we had, say, three or four URLs, we wanted to use and target through our posting as well as our main URL, we could actually use the random link to do this. If we want to do create a more open link wheel type of structure, we can simply remove the last link tag, HTML plus the Close an AREF, then we highlight the text, choose insert last link tag. This time you have a last link plus a static link. Now show how this links up 
Play a diagram. As you can see in this diagram, it's created a open linkless sort of structure. These links are the static links. And these links are the links that get inserted via the last link tag. What the last link tag does is it takes the last successful web 2.0 site that's been posted to and uses the, and replaces the last link tag with that URL. If the post fails, it uses the last successful post. If there's no post available, it will link directly to the, the main URL. Our last type of structure we can create is through a use of the last link plus the random link. So first thing we'll do is remove the static link. Select this. We've got the last link there, so we'll choose the random link. As you see, we've got a random link tag and a last link tag. And both these tags get replaced as we've specified when we post to our sites. I'll show a diagram of what this type of link structure actually does. As we can see, we've used the last link and the random tag. So the random tag rotates through our URL list, which is our main URL plus the URLs in our URL list. And the order of these would be URL, main URL, URL one, URL two, in the list, if we had more Web 2.0 sites, it would be three, four, five, etc. So these are the random link links. And as before, these are the last link tags. So these URLs are the URL of the last posted Web 2.0 site. If there's no last posted Web 2.0 site, this would point to our main URL site. And that is a basic overview of how we can use our article tags. These tags are actually the, we call these inline tags. 